here's how to do masking in CapCut. Now, if you have a video or two videos and you want to mask the transition between them, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's open up CapCut here and tap on new project. And I'm just gonna choose a video here and hit add. Now, if I wanted to do a masking transition here, let's just zoom, scroll forward here until this point and say this is where I want to do the masking. I'm gonna tap overlay at the very bottom center, hit add overlay, and I'm just gonna choose this other clip and hit add. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna zoom in a bit so that it fills the entire screen. And at the very bottom, I'm gonna swipe over until I get to mask. So there it is, tap on mask. And you have a few different options in terms of what you wanna do. Let's just choose split here. And I'm gonna take my fingers because I want it to be vertical, 90 degrees. Now, you can see this is the very beginning of when the first clip transitions to the second one. So I'm going to swipe my finger all the way over, all the way over. And I'm going to add this little, oh, all the way here. Let me get it all the way over. And I'm going to add the little keyframe, that diamond with the little plus. I'm going to tap on that. That adds a keyframe indicating that the masking should be basically not visible at this point. And then let's just go over to the end of the first clip. And now I will take my finger and do the masking all the way over. And you can see, there we go. And I'm gonna basically make sure that it gets all the way to the edge there. Now you can see it added another keyframe to this bottom area here. So if I transition, now I can hit play and you can see it will start transitioning from one video to another, AKA doing this masking. So as I said before, you can do a lot of different kinds of effects. You can do a film strip at the bottom, circle, rectangle, star. You can hit adjust here and then adjust basically the feathering or the rotation or the position, any of those different things you can adjust. But by going through this process, you can smoothly and easily transition from one clip to another one. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.